The future is on the line for more workers at General Motors. The automaker announcing more layoffs. This time at the Pontiac Metal Center, 80 employees will lose their jobs. And this is all due to cuts at other GM locations. The news coming on the same day. Production is coming to an end at its iconic plant in Lordstown, Ohio. And just in photos showing the emotional last moments inside that facility. You can see pride and sadness on those workers' faces. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner is live in Pontiac. And Jim, another devastating day for GM workers. Yeah, the 80 workers here are going to be cut next month, and this is a ripple effect. This is a feeder plant to Detroit Hamtramck that's already scaled back and will be closing later on this year. But the headline of the day is in Lordstown, Ohio, that final sad day of operations there. Our town can be a ghost town. GM Lordstown made the Chevy Cruze one of several sedans General Motors is phasing out. This plant has been in Lordstown for 52 years and made millions of vehicles. Tonight it will sit idle, no work, no plans for the future. The village of Lordstown has only 3,500 residents. Will it have to cut services? Will GM UAW contract talks this summer save the plant? We're going to keep an eye on it and see how the GM negotiations go. Probably mid late summer, early fall, we'll take a good look at it, figure out if we have to restructure. General Motors Lordstown had 1,193 hourly and 181 salaried workers. The company says 417 are transferring to Toledo, Tennessee, Indiana, and Flint, Michigan. The core of this community is General Motors. I mean, we live here, our house value is going to plummet. Families with kids faced with relocating hundreds of miles away. The schools in the area also forced to adjust. A lot of stress, <laughs> uh, constantly wondering what we're going to do, what the future holds, where we're going to go for holidays. A schedule for all GM unallocated plants. Detroit Hamtramck cut in half in February. 700 workers, the remaining 700 working through January of 2020. Warren Transmission, 43 workers cut. Next month, the remaining 220 will be done in June. Baltimore, 240 workers at a transmission plant. Done May the 3rd. Oshawa, Ontario, 2,500 workers cut by the end of this year. You're doing this because you're thinking of how to make just a little bit more money. I don't know if, you know, this community is able to bounce back after we lose something like General Motors. And that is the feeling with General Motors expanding in Mexico where they're making a Chevy Blazer. How large are the UAW contract talks with GM looming very large this summer? Reporting live in Pontiac, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Jim, thank you for that live report. And we